to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London. The Middle Eastern Music and Dance Festival is kicking off, offering workshops in music, rhythm and dance. Not only for the public, they aim to reach already professional musicians and dancers looking for new inspiration. Some of the UK's best players and teachers in this field will share in their knowledge and have indoor evening entertainment every night. The festival is on Friday 29th until Sunday 31st of August near the historic area of Bath. For more information, visit arabicdrum.co.uk. Mirage, Ahmed Bounani's first feature film, played a pivotal role in bringing experimentalism to Moroccan cinema. It's a fable-like story of a poor young farmer who finds treasure in a flower bag. The film will screen at the BFI in South Bank on Wednesday 23rd and Saturday 26th of July. For tickets and information, go to whatson.bfi.org.uk. Exploring the themes of loss of identity, home, diaspora, specifically in their own personal stories of growing up in Palestine, artist Hazem Harb and Mohamed Joha are showing their works at the Oriental Museum in Durham, North England. The two childhood acquaintances have known each other since they were teenagers, passing in the street in Gaza City, each carrying artists' portfolio cases, and the journey has taken them both far. The exhibition has opened to the public and is now on show until 5th of October. For more information, head to dur.ac.uk slash oriental.museum. Now, let's take a look at what's up in the Middle East. Superstar singer Ellie Goulding will be giving a concert in Beirut. The Burn singer has had a swift rise to the top with her sophisticated lyrics, dynamic voice and unique sound, which has made her one of the hottest artists on the chart scene. Widely called the concert of the summer, she will be hitting Lebanon on Friday 23rd of July at Beirut International Exhibition and Leisure Center. And you can visit the website on beelcenter.com for more information. British artist Penelope Fleming is exhibiting at the Medina Gallery in Marrakesh. Penelope is famous for her watercolor and oil paintings, and after getting her first chance to go to North Africa in the 1950s, she then was fascinated by the Middle East and the North African nature. So much so that the majority of her work now consists of North African landscape paintings. The exhibition goes on until Friday the 18th of July, and for more information just hit themedinagallery.com. Now it has come to reveal our Artist of the Week. Born and raised in Canada but with an unstoppable connection to her Iraqi roots, Leila Nadir, our Artist of the Week has written her first book, A Memoir of Baghdad, and captured the heart of readers all around the world. Though she has never stepped foot in Iraq, her Iraqi audience swear that it was as if she had been there her whole life, marking how successful she's been at capturing the spirit of the Iraqi people and the smells and sights of the Iraqi food and landscapes. Here she talks a bit about her successful book, The Orange Trees of Baghdad. I always wanted to be a writer, um, and I never thought that this would be my first book. I've written fiction and uh, stories, and I was sort of not particularly, I mean, I'm quite young to write a memoir, I didn't think about that. Um, but it was the invasion of Iraq that uh, sparked this journey of discovery, a deeper discovery of my Iraqi heritage, and at the same time, uh, this really deep desire to tell the stories of Iraqis to Westerners and kind of record that perspective, because I felt that it really wasn't being shown at the time of the invasion and, and leading up to it. I hope that the book is more of a microcosm of the whole country, of, of what it has suffered in the last three decades. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and the Middle East. Till then, take good care. <laughs>